January 2024. <laughs> I'm posting this video today. Welcome. Welcome to the video here on YouTube. And I'm hoping to get my website updated today with some posts and hopefully share some photos. But I thought I would share this because the original project I had to share today, I deleted all the footage of. So yeah, that is always a wonderful way to start out the first week of the new year is to realize you've totally deleted footage um, that you needed. So, and I can't get to it because I've done this to my room. So I can't even like just share it with you guys. So I thought I would share, I think this is going to be a pretty quick video, but I always say that. So if you are new to my channel, then uh, you, you've not seen my room in other, in the other way I had it. But if you're not new, then you know that I've had these desks straight across down the middle of my room for a long time now. Um, since I redid the room all together, I've had those desks down the middle and that is because I was doing classes. I was doing clubs. I needed a way to prep. Like I needed a long prepping area where I would lay kits out and I would lay cardstock out and I, it was easier to be able to walk around the long desk to prep things. Um, and so that's how I had it set up. That was not a great setup for crafting. When I am crafting, I craft right there because I film right there. And that is not a lot of space. And so I would I would need to like have things laid out. And I would always get overwhelmed with how much stuff was right in front of me. So for a while now, I've wanted to put this, I've wanted an L-shaped desk. Um, because that way I have a space here to have things and then I have a space here to set things. Now the other thing is if I'm being honest the thing that I would really want is to swap this entire room like flip-flop it because you see the light that comes through when I'm filming it's miserable with the light coming through and this is about the time of the day that I would be filming things and getting them ready. However my husband A would kill me if I said one more time that anything needed to be moved. I mean, I had already talked to him about this because I need some help with a few things and that was fine. You know, that it was an easy, this is going to be fairly easy, but to like move all of this and swap it over here and like he would just probably lose his mind and then he'd have to move my camera where I film and that's, he has to get into the attic and it's a whole thing and you know, he's gonna, he's gonna lose his mind with me. So I'm just making this work. So I want to walk you through a few things because I am like switching. I am um, updating the what I do. So I want to be back in a space where I can create instead of just creating a class and prepping a class and sending a class out or prepping a club and sending a club out. Like I really wasn't, I haven't been crafting. Like I haven't crafted in years, I feel like, because as a full-time demonstrator, there's just a million other things you have to do. Perfect case in point, yesterday was the catalog launch. I was in this office for nine and a half hours yesterday. I did not craft one time. There was too much other administrative things that had to be done, and I didn't craft at all yesterday. So now that I'm switching that and I'm going back to a place where I want to craft more, that's what I want to be sharing more, I want to be able to do it and like I want this space to work. So the a few other things is the other reason I can't really swap things is because this was built, my husband and I built this shelf and it's literally meant to fit exactly between these two, these two other pieces, this Billy bookcase, and then those closet mate mini cubes. So this piece really is not going anywhere, uh, which is the other thing in deciding to do this in an L shape, I'm having to put my desk against some of these cubes. So the great thing is, is in the last year, I have purged so much stuff that several of these cubes are empty. I also, because of the way I'm switching things up, like one of these cubes was all give, stamping up brand new products for giveaways. I don't need that anymore because I'm not doing that. So that's the great thing is, is I've purged and I'm not necessarily worried about this, the way this is um, 
working, right? Like I'm not worried that it's against the cubes. So let me just take you around and show you. The other thing is, is that when Andrew was in here, if you watched my Craftmas videos, we had Andrew's bed set up right here. And that was really the only place that I could set it up. Now by doing this, I have this nice open area and I can actually put a full size air mattress down here if I need to for either company or like when my mom comes and Andrew needs to sleep down here, I can set up an air mattress and then take the air mattress out of here during the day when I need to work. So this is going to work out better as well. So nothing really changed right through here. The paper tower is still going to stay here. And then this wasn't, it wasn't, it's not narrow, but this didn't really change any. Um, and then I have my TV here. Uh, three of these cubes are empty as well. So I definitely have space um, to figure it out. And then my rolling cart here, I'm going to clean up. So I'll probably share that in today's video. I just want to clean it up. My blending brushes have fallen down and I need to restock my adhesive and fix my ATG gun, all of that kind of stuff. So that's, I'm going to clean that up and that nothing is changing there. So here we are with the desk. So here's the situation. My desk is made out of uh, Alex drawers from Ikea and Alex, um, not Alex Taylor tabletops, but Ikea tabletops. So the thing is, <laughs> and right now I just have the tabletop propped up. I just shoved stuff under there. Um, my, that's the thing my husband's going to have to help me with is either building a base or um, figuring that out. So what I did is I just moved the drawers and I think what I'm going to do is, so there's a little tiny space here that I can have my table and my large trimmer. Again, this is right up against this, but there are two of these that are empty and then there is the empty space right there that just has catalogs. So none of this is like yet permanent. What I'm gonna do is have my husband help me um, get the desk part where I need to get it, like all the pieces. And then I think uh, somebody suggested in my comments in another video, organization video, um, to get alien tape and then that would help things not to move because right now all of this stuff just moves like you can just push it around and it moves so I don't want that to happen I'm gonna live with this like this for the next couple weeks um, because my husband won't be able to help me for the next couple weeks we have some just major things going on and he's not gonna be available and so I'm gonna live with it like this and just see if this is gonna work out. So now when I'm crafting here, I'm gonna have this table here that I can spread out. So like I can have my Project Life album open over here while doing things here. I can also, I will have better access to my Cricut Joy as it sits in that corner. I might have it sit in this other corner, um, but I'll have better access to it so that I can use it in a better way. So that is what the desk situation is. I really don't think that anything up here is going to be affected. I think it'll be fine. I can still get to my inks. I can still get, like access all of this. This is my chipboard and stuff. I pull that out anyways and bring it to my desk. The only one that might be a little bit of a struggle is I have this one over here. And I don't really want to move it because it fits perfect there. It was like made it, like it is so perfect for there. So I might play around a little bit and just um, figure maybe some things out. I don't know, like maybe my punches could be moved. I don't know. Most of this stuff is pretty much in the area that I think works best for it. So we'll see. The other thing that this does is it allows all of my drawers to be facing me and I can get into them easily while I'm crafting. Um, so let's see. I'm going to plug things back in. Like this was just like I pulled everything apart and I just like moved things around to see how they would work. So I am going to um, do a couple things and then I will show you the progress and kind of where I end up landing. I don't want to spend a ton of time on this today because... I want to get to crafting and getting projects done. Um, and so I don't want to spend a ton of time, but I'm going to spend a little bit of time just 
figuring a few things out, getting things plugged back in, and then I'll let you know how it looks. Hey, I really, I don't know why I do this to myself. I really don't. Okay, so I cleaned up this whole area. The first thing is, as I moved my, this is something I did during December, is this is a, a organizer container thing from storage, what is it called? Stamp and storage. My friend was getting rid of a couple of these and she gave them to me. I originally thought that this would fit in my Calyx unit, but it's not the one that's designed to fit in the Calyx unit. So for a while, I had it sitting like on top of a shelf, kind of like that. And then most of last year, I had it sitting like just on the floor. So I've moved it here. It fits really nicely there. It looks a lot better there. I can access, like I don't have to bend down to get my page protectors. I don't know, there's part of me that is like, just let go of it and put your page protectors in these type of organizers and stack those there. And it would like, I might do that. Um, quite honestly, I could probably fit five more of those there. And I could just put page protectors there. I don't access those page protectors a ton. Those are like my backstock page protectors. So anyways, I moved that there. That might change, but I cleaned all of this up. I wiped down all of this, cleaned all of this up, and then I pulled the whole desk out and I rearranged my cubes. So everything that is behind this portion of the desk, I don't need access to. It's like a Halloween bin. There is a bin of kids um, stuff for elementary school stuff that I won't be using. I'll probably just get rid of it. There's some batting for like pillows, um, stuff that I just don't access. I also pushed the desk down a little bit. So these two empty portions of these cubes, I can still access. I'm going to put my magazines there, like my scrapbook um, and card magazines and like my inspiration stuff. That's what I'm going to put there because I can still access it. So I did push it down a little bit so that the one main cube row that I cannot access without pulling everything out, I don't need. On the other side, um, I, there is, you can partly see the cubes. I also don't need to access that. They're either empty or I don't need to access it. Everything that I need to access, I shifted over or I shifted this way. Then I also shifted the desk down a little bit. I think it's still going to work for my filming. I think that will still be okay. When my husband is able to stabilize this piece better, I will probably do like the alien tape. Like I will probably do the alien tape underneath these and underneath these so that it just stays put. Or maybe just under this desk and not under that one. I don't know. I'm going to have to think it through. I already like the configuration better for like creating and I think filming is going to be fine. I also shifted my punches down even though I really didn't want to move this one here from that spot because it fits so perfect. I did end up shifting all of this down because I accessed this in my memory keeping. I also left my circle punches right here because I use those the most in my memory keeping. And then I shifted all of my punches down. Only use those when I'm creating specific projects so I can just get those out and take, you know, bring them over to my desk when I need them to. And I feel like... It's still, it's still, I like the way it looked better for sure when all of my punches were right here. And when we built the shelf, I designed or spaced that, that particular shelf for my punches. That's like literally what I wanted there. Um, but it is what it is, right? Like it's fine. It's not horrific. It will work. So, um, yeah, so that that I feel like is fine. My cords are all going to be able to be plugged in here. I'm going to get everything plugged back in here. I also moved my studio light right back here because, again, it's really just blocking these three. And there's, like, the only one that I may need to, probably will need to access at some point is the retired product. There's I have a few things in there. Um, but this black one down here is empty. So I think I'll start putting retired product there. The other one is extra cords, like random cords, and then cricket stuff. It this is not the most 
perfect setup for sure. Like, but it's like, you just have to pick when you're organizing your space, you have to pick, you have to pick the thing that you want to be hard. And you have to pick the thing that is going to make the most difference to me. Having a better space to craft is going to make more of a difference than blocking a few cubes that I may need to get to. Like, I would rather be able to just pull this desk completely out and get to the cubes if I need to. And then every other day of the year, be able to craft in a more comfortable way. So these down here are the magazines and inspiration books that I will put in those empty cubes. I'm going to clean up behind there. Um, I think having the light here is going to be nice because I'm going to have some light from behind and then some light from forward. So I think that's going to cut back on the glare that happens oftentimes. I also, like I said, I wiped everything down. I wiped everything down here. I dusted all these shelves. Um, I put some stuff away, so that is better. I want to just clean this cart up and that back cart, and then I need to sweep. But I think, overall, I think that that is going to work. The only thing that will really need to happen is I need this, the end of this desk stabilized. And the other thing that I have thought is maybe getting a a desk leg to put on the corner right here just as some extra stability but still allow me to have like I would still be able to put my trash can there or you know that kind of thing I will also probably shift this fabric over once everything is like set there's some things I'm not going to worry about until the desks get stabilized and like my husband doesn't even know that I've moved all this around in the last two days he's been at work and he's had some stuff come up at work and he hasn't been able to be home. And so he doesn't even know I've done any of this. Um, so he's probably not going to be happy that I moved all this stuff around when we were going to do it together. But this this is the mess I get myself into, right? So I'm going to sweep. I'm going to finish putting this up. And then I'll give you one last look after I get everything plugged in and give you my final thoughts. All right, final thoughts. I like the desk in this, in this way. I think it's going to work out. I'm fine with it blocking the cubes. I like the light over there better. All my stuff is plugged in and I was able to do that. So that's good. Um, I have an extension cord that runs from this wall underneath all of this. And then I have stuff plugged in. I have to have a place to plug in my camera and all that. So that still works. It's totally fine. Um, the desks need to be stabilized for sure. I need to figure that out, but they're not so horrible right now that I can't use them. So in a couple weeks, I, we will get that situated and that is fine. I like the space that I have over here. So I think that that is good. I cleaned up all this area. I wiped everything down and I dusted. So now as soon as I get some regular work done here at my desk, I can craft and we will see how that goes. I, I am anxious to craft here and see how the flow works. I think it's going to be so much better. I did in the empty, the two spots that I can access sort of, I did put my um, scrapbook and more uh, catalog, ma magazines, not catalogs, but magazines. And then I have a couple small six by eight albums that those yellow ones go in my living room in the summertime. I just don't have anywhere to store anywhere else to store them. So I also I meant to share my album wall on Tuesday when I did Project Life Weekly. I've shifted all of this around to add two more albums, which I need to order. And then I've caught up on Kayla's album and Violet's album. And I'm going to be taking you through the process of catching up on Andrew's album. I caught up on both Kayla and Violet's album from 2020. One, 2022 and 2023 over Christmas break. So uh, I am going to be in the process of changing out her albums and getting them all situated. So I dusted all of this and shifted everything around so that I can add more albums. I need another album for Kayla. Like I said, I need two more albums for next year for our family album. So all of that is done as well. So I feel like this is in pretty good shape now and I'm ready to go. So here is going to be to lots of crafting in 2024. So I hope that you're having a great day. I'm sorry I lost that footage of the Traveler's Notebook. I will have more of that out um, in the next few weeks. 
And I look forward to sharing that with you. So thank you guys so much. And I will be back next week with more content for you guys. Have a wonderful weekend.